Hey YouTube, hey up Melanin Nation, it's your girl I am Nubian with I am Nubian Customs. I'm here just vlogging for a week. Um, I want to say we're on week 15, you guys. We got through week 14. I had stopped vlogging. Today is Friday, December 20th. So, um, yeah, we're like two days, three days in. So week 15 and pretty much just the same old, same old stuff. Has been going on. I just had a lot of vomiting a couple days ago, and that was about it. I still don't have any cycle. According to my tracker on my phone, I am 56 days um, since I've had a actual cycle. And also, according to my tracker, um, I will be three days late on my second cycle. So. I don't know, and none of my appointments are until after the New Year's. Um, I did go to my doctor's appointment, which was on the 16th. That was on a Monday during week 14, and all they really did was a vaginal exam and spoke with me. So, um, <clears throat> they didn't um, test me there, but I had took a test, I think, myself a couple days prior to that, and it was negative. So... I just told myself, like, you know what, I'm just going to wait till after the holidays and see what's going on just with our son and all that. But I just wanted to do something fun outside of that and just do a home test using bleach. Because I'm just sitting here doing a lot of research and stuff. I'm at work, I'm bored, it's cold outside. So I'm like, why not? Because I really don't have anything to vlog for y'all. Um, because like I said, everything is pretty much the same, so there's no point in me just keep repeating all of those same symptoms, pretty much the same symptoms. My back, oh, and I just got headaches, so I got headaches, um, the blemishes that I was getting, I think they're starting to turn into moles or something, which I think that's kind of weird. Um, tenderness on my wrist area, nausea with actual vomiting, um, cramping, that's mild, um, it's a lot of cervical mucus. Um, pain in my back or whatnot. I do have hot flashes here and there, but not as bad as it was like a few weeks back or when I first started Vitex and stuff like that. Um, my joints and stuff is starting to get a little bit more relaxed, but I'm starting to notice that in my hips is trying to spread and that kind of hurts a lot because if you know anything about me, I have a messed up back as it already is. And I was in a real bad car accident, and then I stand with my feet like this. So everything or my body is curved in like this, and it's trying to push out like this. And I can feel that shit. It hurts really, really bad. So I think I'm about to um, incorporate some stretching this week or something. I don't know. And all of that. Um, yeah, and then it's just my toothache. Um, it comes and goes on the right side um and i got a little bit dizzy last night too like the headaches started like about four days ago they kind of come and go on very mild and it's usually like if i haven't um ate or if i'm get like hungry or something i don't know and i don't eat in like enough time or something i started getting a headache and i started getting real real dizzy and nauseous and i don't know the only time i'm not nauseous is if I'm actually eating something, and then right after that, it's like I'm right back on or something. And I don't know, but I've been noticing, like, even when I go back to look at my vlogs and stuff like that, like, the saliva that's in my mouth, it just seems like it's just so freaking much, and that's just crazy. And I feel like my nose or something is starting to open, but I don't know. Like, I could just be tripping. But, yeah, and then I just be having a spiral just taste in my mouth and I just noticed that too like on a lot of my videos I'm I'm smacking a lot and it's because I don't know if my conscience is picking up that it's that much saliva in my mouth and it's actually really a nasty taste like and I thought it was just because like after I got done smoking or stuff like that but it's like you know I get done eating or like smoking like it doesn't matter like it's just I'm just constantly doing that. I just find myself doing it even more. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, it's weird. 
far as like everything else, like no, we nothing too crazy. Just had a little bit thrown up a couple of days ago for like an hour or so, and then a couple of days outside of that had a little bit of throwing up, but not super super crazy. It might be like a little bit of food here and there, but for the most part, it's like clear and foamy, or like water, like whatever liquid I done had. It's not really food. Um. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a cup and I'm gonna collect some of my hair and I'm gonna get some bleach and I'm gonna do a home um, test with bleach and so if it's negative, it's not gonna do anything. But I guess if it's supposed to be positive, it's gonna like foam up like uber 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 uber, uber crazy. Like you did like um vinegar and baking soda or something together so i'm gonna get the little things that i need from around the house i'm trying to do this like anybody here because i'm at my mom's house <laughs> and i'm looking crazy because like, i don't know about y'all that's why i got my hood on because i already know i'll be coming on here looking so so hood but i'm like no we gotta and of course i still have a boyfriend's hoodie because i'm already still in the boyfriend's shit so also, I don't know if I should do a body check with y'all. Like, I just feel so self-conscious. Like, I don't even know. Because I'm just feel like I don't even know what's going on with everything. I just know. Like, especially if I go outside. Like, I can have on 10 million sweaters. Like, the cold air, even from, like, my body just tensing up in my pores and stuff, contracting and all that. That shit hurts. And it'll start with, like, my nipples like my pinch them real bad and I can feel it go all the way down it's like my bone and then like the outer tissue will just start like pulsating like I don't know like like the, they, like, the whole thing turns like a rock or something I don't know I can't explain it I just know it fucking hurts and it's like very like irritating like and irritable and just makes me just want to rub and massage them all day like, that's the only thing that feels good is when I rub on the side. Like, I'm not even trying to get nasty. So, if you're new to my channel, it's about women's health. From the intro, you should already know this is about women's health. So, this is what we go over here and talk about the real. I'm going to say all the stuff that anybody else is scared to say or don't want to talk about. I am the one that's going to say it, okay? Period. So, yeah. Let me go get this stuff from our house. I'll come back home. Also, y'all, before I forget, I had just up, up week 11, but I do have weeks 12, 13, 14, and this week 15 um, coming up to be edited. So, be on the lookout for that. But week 11 is up. I just had to go back to my videos and make sure where I was at with everything. And I also have a couple more hair tutorials in there for y'all as well that needs to get edited and it's gonna be up so yeah let's go get this stuff you all hey Melanie Nation what's poppin don't mind my hair I just have a twist out that's a little bit oh now we're chilling it is December 23rd and I'm just coming back with y'all from the 20th because that day this and I'm getting real sick and stuff right after I have vlogged for y'all and didn't even end up doing it I just ended up taking a nap and stuff um so it's three days later it's the 23rd so I do have um the dollar store brand of the bleach it's about halfway to where this line first starts I got a lot of bleach um and then I have the sample right here. Um, and I'm probably going to fill it up to about where that line starts on the red cup. Um, I did not use the Clorox brand because the Clorox brand that I had available was scented. So I didn't want to use that. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, and also, I did just have like, a little tiny bit of spotting. Like, it kind of was like... It wasn't how it was that one night. I just went to like once a little bit on the tissue, but nothing super major or anything like that. Um, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the test. Okay. So 
tell. It is supposed to foam up as if it was baking soda and vinegar put together. Okay, so the one that I seen on YouTube, it fizzed up like the whole cup. So I'm assuming that it's still saying it is. I guess. I guess. I'm not sure. So I don't know, but. Still, so far, nothing has came besides a little bit of spotting that I just had a second ago. Because this morning, that wasn't even there. So, I'm going to go ahead and go dump these. And I guess we're still going to play the waiting game. Today is Monday, so we have only like one more day of week 15. Um, So far, same old, same old with everything. And only taking the phallic acid. Um, I did start back taking the light test, but I think I only took it for like two or three days and then I had stopped it again. So that's why I'm not saying the light test, but I do take the phallic acid when I do remember, which I need to take it today because I don't think I took it yet. So, and it's like already after three o'clock. So, yeah. I don't know you guys. I guess we're just. Figure it out. Okay, y'all. So, as y'all know, my December has been going so, so crazy. And y'all know I really don't talk to a lot of people. I only talk to my sister and y'all at the end of the week. <laughs> when I come do my thing outside of other stuff that I just don't speak about that be in my head about so I think my mom noticed that and she knows that I love all this natural type of stuff so she got me this bath salt kit yeah like, y'all this is in a glass jar with the seal still on there and I literally can smell everything in there like this thing smells so good I just washed out the tub so dreaming thing i got that from dollar tree shout out to dollar tree but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and take my bath with this mixture it's the botanica and then i also have my instance from the spiritual shop that i go to um in one of our local malls here so some of these are like frankincense myrrh sage um I think I got a rose one and like some other ones that if I think they smell good or something like that I might get them um I'm also gonna burn my sage and she also got me this candle that smells over good hold on one second y'all okay so yeah y'all so I'm gonna use this in my bath I'm gonna go ahead and light my sage that I have in the bathroom y'all know that big stick of sage I have I'm just sitting in front of my altar right now. As y'all know, most of the time I will use things that I already have in my altar space for in my bathtub. But today we're just going to rock with this because it has so much good stuff in there. Um, if you weren't able to read it, sodium chloride, um, rose, yeah, rosa california flower, cedar wood. Um, oil citrus, what's this called? Paradesi, peel oil citrus, a quantum, whatever, I don't even know what that is. Orange peel, basically, and grapefruit, cedarwood. Um, Vasuila, and whatever that is, basically, it's frankincense. <laughs> And some other type of flowers that's basically like rose flower. They're just using all these big words for it, which I love because y'all don't like to explain. 
understand my vocabulary once I know how to pronounce it, y'all. But yes, then she got me this mahogany um, candle. I like it because it smells like a man. Anything mahogany, I think it smells like a man. And don't mind this candle wax on the floor, y'all. Y'all know I like to burn my black candles. And I'm mad because they probably don't even have no more out right now. I have to wait all the way again until fall. But yes, this thing smells so good. I'm going to burn that while I'm in the tub. And finish out letting into my tarot readings for 2020. And she also, she, my mom, she loves to get us these, like, unique bars of soaps and stuff. But I be trying to tell her, like, girl, give me natural stuff because I ain't nobody got time for the JJ to be on fire trying to use too much perfume stuff. But this is sweet violet. I also thought this smells so good. Ugh, it smells so so amazing and it comes all wrapped up so nobody has to touch it or tamper with it and put nothing crazy in it but that smells so good um yeah this is the suspend fine if my camera will focus yeah so siphon or siphon or siphon fine bath soap she had got me this other one last year that came with three in there and i no, recently used it in the bathtub the other two bars i used to use in the shower but the last bar i used in the bathtub and i think it kind of irritated me a little bit so i'm only going to use these when i'm taking a shower and not when i take a bath um usually when i take my bath i use dove soaps and i've been using my dr bonner soap y'all so know i like the yardley brand far as like the lavender the oatmeal and the um, black charcoal soap so that's what I normally use but I like these as well um I never had this um scent before and I also thought this was kind of cool that my mom got me um it's like a yoga journal and y'all know I love the chakra system and all of that and it says give this world good energy on the back and it says my yoga journal and then at the top, they just have, like, little passages and the person who put that quote on there. So, I'm going to just go ahead and add that to my other journals and things that I have up here on my altar. And just save it for, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. Because I do want to start doing yoga, but I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start burning our sage and everything and our incense fill up the tub um i'm not gonna do too too hot of water just because if y'all have been watching my vlog um i have not had a cycle in two months i'm like on 63 64 days since um not having a cycle so and this is my vlog for my week 15 i want to say or no nope. actually because christmas was on uh was on actually like wednesday or thursday so actually we're in week 16 so yeah we're done with week 15 we're going into week 16 so um my doctor's appointment is coming up in january i think it's like the 13th or the 16th or something like that i just know it's on a wednesday whatever day it is and um so I'll be able to get my vaginal ultrasound and then from there on I can just see if this is a cyst or whatever is causing my cycle not to come on. Um, so if I am, I don't want the water to be too, too hot and, you know, just because then I'm going to feel bad. Like if something happens or all of a sudden I just be in chronic pain or something, I don't got time for all of that. So if you are going through an issue where you don't know if um, why your cycles aren't coming on and you're still getting negative tests as far as um, a pregnancy test goes, just make sure you're not taking any too hot of showers, too hot to fast. If you are getting sick or need to take any type of cold medicine stuff, just make sure you're just using something natural or don't overdo it. Try to just 
have your body fight it off naturally, I would try to say, until you really find out what's going on. And lately, when I get sick, I haven't really been taking anything. Like, I haven't got sick far as me to take cough medicine since this has happened. But there has been times where I've been throwing up so bad that I'm throwing up stomach liners. So I would have to take Pepto-Bismol. And I noticed on those days when I was throwing up real, real bad like that, um, those were the days I had a little bit of spotting because... For this month of December, I want to say I only had spotting like two or three times. And it would just be like at one time. And then that's that. And it's mostly mucus. It's not really um, a lot of blood. But those times where I would consider myself spotting is when I went to go wipe. You can see actual red on the tissue. Outside of that, um, it just be like a real faint pink. Like fainter than those like rocks in there like <laughs> I don't know to the point where it's just like mm, like kind of like how this is like you can see like a pink hue but it's mainly white that's how my tissue would look so and then I've been doing a little bit of research and stuff on that and then they said if it is it's due to the placenta and stuff growing so again I don't know I'm just over here freaking out my anxiety has been so over bad I'm looking so crazy, y'all. I would show my face, but I'm looking like a straight, 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 like, hood rat, hood rat. <laughs> but, yes, we're about to just soak, enjoy this nice Friday. Um, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, a good holiday. Um, I hope y'all having a good New Year's and to be safe on New Year's. Um. And just have good energy and put out good energy because energy you get out is the energy that you receive. And don't dwell on the negative because that is part of energy and the way it flows. So you want to think positive, be positive. Even like even if you feel like you got to check somebody or check something or the surroundings around you, just do it in the most humblest way you can do it. Don't do anything out of a spiteful, ugly light. You know what I'm saying? And just be patient. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is different. Everybody's been through different things. Everybody's going to move at their own pace. Everybody's set in their own ways. And the way our vibration comes off um, can dictate how a person responds to that. Or your surroundings around you responds to that. Because, like I said, everything is energy. Everything is vibration. So... Again, stay blessed, you guys. Um, we're two days into week 16. So just be looking for to the rest of the week. Um, again, I'm just only taking folic acid. I took some black seed oil in week 15. Um, and I took a couple of Vitexes here and there, which I'm just trying to see how that's going to go. Um... And here goes all my other supplements that I was taking at one point, which after my doctor's appointment, I probably will wing myself back on this. And if you're definitely not having cycles and you haven't had an no ultrasound or anything to see, do not take this. This, um, this Serapeptis is going to break down scar tissue. And if you are pregnant, it's, you're, they're going to think that the baby is scar tissue and it's going to make you have a miscarriage. So you do not want to do that. So, and that's just some sesame oil that I have here. So, we have the biotin, the kelp, maca, papaya, serapeptis. We have the raspberry. And then we also have the vitex. I acid in my purse. My black seed oil is out there. You know what I'm saying? Some of my other oils are in the refrigerator or I'm all out of those. So, but yeah, you guys. All right. Ciao. Love you. I always gotta burn my face. Just went ahead and put my activated charcoal bubble bath in there and I put in my spa soak. I have my mahogany candle lit. I can't find my tall lighter to light my black candle but as you can see I've been catching a lot of bad spirits and that's probably why my anxiety has been so high. Um, everybody knows I like to put um, crystals in my bath. And being that I've been focused on my solar plex and my sacral chakras, 
I have um, these orange and yellow stones. And the dark one because the dark one is calling me. And it also has the orange hue and red hues for your root chakra. And you always got to start at the root of things. And I have a green crystal for working on my heart chakra. Because I want everything to be from a pure state. And also help heal my um, traumas of my heart chakra as well. So I'll go ahead and just let those sit in there because I like to let it steep for a second before I actually get in there. And again, I will be using my, you know, little soaps right here. Um, I'm going to probably put on some nice music or my tarot reading like I said. And we're just going to relax today, y'all. Just relax. Also, when I get out of the tub, I like to oil up with natural stuff. So, I'm either just going to use a moisturizing oil or I might just put um, go against the grain because petroleum really shouldn't be going on your body. But it's winter and I know it's going to work. So, I might just mix a little bit of Vaseline with some of my uh, Victoria's Secret lotion and, you know, rock it out like that so i just come to y'all later all right ciao don't forget to meditate to speak breathe um also if you want to with this water if you're going to make this a um a more in-depth spiritual bath you can dip a fresh towel into the water and let it sit over your face and let your face steam with all the purities of this water before you get to washing and bathing everything that way the water is still clean for the most part um, and again, just speak, breathe, envision, put you on some nice, mellow, uplifting music or tarot reading. Um, just have the lights off because we do have the candle lit. So this is what my ambiance will be like. Um, so yeah, and it's also just make sure you have two different tiles, one for your body, one for your face, you know. So... Yeah, you guys. Ciao.